this is John from Black Cat Gear. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the uh, Sterno Inferno. It is a uh, cook kit um, that uses Sterno as a fuel and it's a really nice uh, integrated system and uh, it's got a heat exchanger on an aluminum pot. So I'm going to bring the camera in. Uh, we'll take a closer look at this. So here is the Sterno Inferno, and uh, the reason I bought it is I've been wanting to experiment with heat exchanger pots, and uh, this, this product is actually several years old. It's been around for a long time, um, but the price dropped recently. I bought this whole kit for uh, $22. Now, it is actually, I consider it a really well-made kit. Uh, inside the uh, pot is a windscreen, lid pops off. Uh, this is the um, this is the base. The base has legs that fold out. It also includes this um, snuffer lid for the sterno. And the windscreen snaps in. And uh, you use uh, I think this is a seven ounce can of sterno. Pop the lid. Uh, light it off, stove goes on top, lid goes on top, and uh, when you want to put it out, there's a slot on the side, and you slide the damper in, and just drop it on top, and that puts the flames out. Very nice design. Again, what I'm interested in is the pot. So, um, you can look at a lot of videos online. Uh, Hiram Cook's got a good one. This will boil uh, two cups of water in about 12 minutes uh, using sterno in the can. Now some people have done hacks where uh, they've taken the sterno and they put it on top of the lid and in the same system I've seen them boil water in six minutes or so. So <clears throat> I purchased it to take a look at the, the heat exchanger pot uh, because at $22 uh, that's that's a pretty phenomenal price to pay for a heat exchanger pot. So that was my main reason. But what I will do is I will try to configure this uh, this as this configuration to see how it works with our regular uh, flat cat stoves. I think this is a great stove if you're going to do car camping or you just want to go out for a walk or something and uh, you're not worried too much about weight. Uh, the Sterno, um, pretty lightweight, easy to get a hold of. <clears throat> nice compact kit. I don't think you can go wrong there. Now, it comes with a lid. It's uh, pretty darn heavy. Uh, not something you'd use in um, lightweight backpacking. Uh, but it turns out that people make these lids for the um, Amusa 10 centimeter, and uh, it fits perfectly on that. And that's only, I think it's, I don't think it's more than eight grams or something like that. So that's another option. So there, there's three actual experiments I'm going to be running. I'm going to be work, working on um, using our ovens in uh, our stoves in their windscreen because it's a pretty nice windscreen. Um, whether it will work with our stove, so I'll do it with their system. And then it turns out the mug just barely fits in a snow leopard. So we're going to try it in the snow leopard system. Now that being said, the way this is designed, once you put the mug in, it tends to get caught on the tabs, but I'm going to test it anyway just to see how well um, it works with our system. I think this performance is actually going to be pretty good. And uh, my final set of experiments is actually kind of where I started off. <clears throat> I modified a um, fire maple stove uh, with an adapter plate. This is a canister mount stove and uh, you just place that on top, light it off, adjust it, and uh, my initial results are really good, so I'm going to share that with you in probably the third video. So come visit us at www.flathatgear.com.